Mama's a very cool girl. Taika. Yeah. Did you know that you're half Mexican? Yeah. You did? And you're half what? Chinese. Ah! How did you know that? I know. Who told you? No one. Liar. Who's Chinese and who's Mexican? You, uh, Mama, Papa, and and Mama and Papa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to know? Yeah. Okay, so Papa yeah. is Chinese. Look, yeah. you know how you know Papa's Chinese? He's like, what the? See that? Oh, you can do it too! Oh, that's awesome! Okay, look, monkey. Hey, look, this look, look, mama's, mama's Mexican, look. And I'm Mexican. You know how I'm Mexican? How? I can dance. Oh. <laughs> can you dance? Can you do the hips like mama? Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Can you do your hips? Mama, can you do that? Hey, that's the Mexican side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to Chinese Okay. Are you going to do Chinese? That's awesome. <laughs> okay, and monkey. Yeah. And being part Chinese, we celebrate, or you, celebrate. and us, this house. We celebrate. What? You celebrate Chinese. Yes, well, it's called and, and Lunar. Yeah, it's called Lunar New Year. Did you know that? Yes. Say, say this, say this, say this. Monkey, say this, say this. Gong Xi Fa Tai. What's that? <laughs> that means, so it means congratulations. And you say that for Chinese New Year, go Gong Xi Fa Tai. Gong Xi Fa Tai. Say it. One at a time. Gong Xi Fa Tai. Good job! <laughs> Good job! High five. Okay, so uh, we, we're not very. Um, okay, so let me back up. Growing up, I was very, very traditional. I was raised very traditionally Mexican. Growing up, Papa was also raised very traditionally. Chinese. Almost unrelatably traditional. <laughs> yes. But then when we got older, we moved away from our parents. Um, we got into super grind mode and it was like, time is money. So we were like, we just want to build, 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 build. That we didn't go to movies, we didn't go to parties, we didn't do much because us two, and we we're fortunate that our friends were also grinding with us, that we were just in super work mode, super building mode, that we didn't really care to celebrate many traditions outside of the ones that we were forced to because the whole world shut down, AKA, or not the whole world, but at least majority of the world, AKA Christmas and New Year's. Honestly, those were the only ones. We didn't celebrate birthdays, we didn't celebrate anniversaries. When was the last time we celebrated an anniversary? Who knows? Um, I think we celebrated just a month ago, because it was our uh, anniversary. But we didn't do anything. We didn't even get each other presents. That's how we celebrated. Okay. We're cool. like, are we getting any stuff to each other? And we're like, nope. Okay, cool. But now, as you guys can see, Taika is very much grown up. He's very coherent. He's making these sentences. He's remembering so many different memories that now, from this point forward, I want to celebrate as much as possible and carry on whatever traditions I was raised in and whatever traditions Papa was raised in so that he can bring those to his future family. So one of those is, like we already mentioned, uh, the Lunar New Year, and I'm stoked. So I've never celebrated it. Papa, I think, was traumatized by it because he grew up doing way too many things. What was yours like? You said you did? So one of the things that we did, my mom, I think, tries to celebrate it like Tang Dynasty Confucius style, where like we'd wake up and I'd be on my knees for a few hours, pretty much like appreciating all that we have. And, um, oh, and here's a, here's a kind of a relatable thing. I would get red envelopes from all of my family members, right? And as a kid, you're like, yes, I finally there's that toy at Toys R Us I can get. And you would try to save up all the red envelopes, but my mom ends up just taking it and then she would put it away. But my mom's actually responsible because at the end of every year, she would actually take me to the bank and deposit it with me. So I would Here. see my bank account grow. And I think by the time I was maybe like 18, I had like seven grand in there. Nice, is crazy, yeah. that is really crazy. Okay, so because he was kind of traumatized by it, I never really cared to ask. He didn't really care to ask about mine. We just knew at some point when kids were starting to get involved that we'd go back to our roots and the time has come and it's time to show Taika what we do for Chinese New Year, AKA Lunar New Year. Are you ready to learn? Yeah, you eat dumplings in Chinese. How do you know that? How do you know these Who's things? teaching you? Where did you hear what? this? Who told you that? I didn't know this. 
No, no, no. Are you learning it from school? Are you hearing us talk? Did you hear Mama and Papa talk about it? Do you have older friends? What's going on? <laughs> this is <laughs> this Dad, clearly was not planned. Dad's five. Oh, no wonder. He's five. He's telling you all the secrets. Yeah, and I was Totally not, totally not planned. I and Skylar too. I did a Google search. I brought up all the things that I thought, uh, or at least that I read, that I was like, whoa, this is really cool to carry on as a tradition. And Papa is gonna show me and teach me also how it's all done. He's gonna give me uh, the backstory on it. And can you share some of your insight of like how you guys celebrated it? And if you did it this way? Yes, I will. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> From your five-year-old friend. <laughs> okay. So one of the first things I read and I learned, Taika, do you want to learn with me? Okay, come on. Is we want to put door couplets and that's, I already kind of started putting it up. You put it on the door and it should be in twos. Why is that? So I don't know the twos okay. reasoning, but I know something even more insightful. Oh. So what you're supposed to do is actually have it upside down. I have that. That's another one. Why? Why is it upside down? Tell me. Uh, because it's supposed to ward off evil or something. No. Or maybe it is. So, because oh. <laughs> I don't know. Because you know, like, I, I learned it through I my family and that. I food character. Yes, the food character is upside down. Why though? I don't know. Is this it? Yeah. Yes, and you know how to say it the right way? Foo. Oh my god, for real, it is. It's foo. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> we're guessing everything. It's cute. <laughs> it is. <laughs> What is going on right now? So look, like I got someone, it. Like when someone's lucky, you say shing fu, like that. Yeah. So shing with, fu. Yeah. yeah, dude. <laughs> you know why that came natural? Probably because you're Mexican. Like, hey, what's Mon up, fu? <laughs> <laughs> Monkey. Yeah. So this is the correct way, right? Yes. Upside down. How cool. I know, but then they put it this way so I could hang it upside yeah. down. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you want to know why it's upside down? Yes. So this is the reason why. What's up? And it's a play on words. A lot of the traditions in Chinese yeah. are play on words. Yeah. So when something has arrived, it's dao le. Like 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 when you're like when you call your like when you call your mom when you're like hey, hey are you home? And then I go are you home? And you go what dao le? Like I'm there. And also you know what another what dao also means? No. Upside down. Okay. So that's why when you have fu when you put it upside down when you dao le it that means the fu is also there. So the luck. By putting it upside down is Stay. there. Yeah. Like, so, so you know what this means? The, the whole stuff. But how you put it on the wall, it's going to hang. Yeah, so we're going to put it on our door. Okay, you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. We got to get, I got to get some tape. Oh my oh gosh. My. Oh my gosh. Stand oh up higher my. and hold up here. I'm holding the ladder, okay? Okay, be careful with me. No, I'm be careful with you, of course. <laughs> okay, oh careful. My. Excuse me. Oh my. Okay, wait, let me find the middle. There we go, upside down. Foo. Right. Oh no, that's right side up, actually. Oh. It needs to be upside down. You see how even the English is right side up? So it needs to be upside down. But this is how I hang it. Oh, okay, then we can't, we can't do it upside down then. We'll just do it the uh, American sure? way. Yeah. Because even the English should be upside down if it's fully upside down, you know what I'm well, saying? Then, but why is this hanging thing this way? Well, that's probably because it's made for like, the white family that wants should to I celebrate it? Happy should New I Year. It? No, no, no. Trust me. Mama, Fine. Then should I do this? Yeah, that's if my if you did it like that, my mom oh. would be like, "Damn, now that I oh, that's way. that's how you know it's a Chinese family." Yep. This is how you get Chinese street cred. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Let me put them. Yep, okay. like that. That's the real Chinese. You sure about that? Yeah. The other way was Panda Express. I don't need to Google it. Nah, nah. This is for real, the for real. One, you go to Taiwan or China. This is how they're gonna roll. The other one. The other one was the fake one. He did the fake one. Yeah, this was the real, real. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm careful with you. I'm oh. careful with you. Okay, so we'll cut this because we don't need that. This? Boop. Yeah. Oh, wait. Do you swear? It's supposed to be the other way. You swear to God. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> no, no, that's the right I way. I hate you. That's the right way. Yeah, we'll go to any of the other Chinese homies' mom, house. I'm so happy because your mom's going to be so happy. I know. She loves this stuff. A sword? You brought a sword? What's that for, food? I'm just gonna, just gonna cut it. That's all. <laughs> Wait, what? You're <laughs> such a grown up right now. I don't like this. When you buy a Chinese sword, dude. Okay. Okay. Careful, you make me nervous. The little pointy thing. That's what I pictured. Oh, I got no phone now. 
What is he saying? <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, so another thing. Oops, sorry, monkey. Another thing that um I read is one, we're supposed to clean everything out. We're yep. supposed to sweep all the bad luck out. Yep. We have to sweep. We will get to that. But kind of going off the topic of decorations, everything needs to be red and gold. Yes. Why? That I don't know. I do know it's their lucky colors. So anytime you you have a lucky event in um, Chinese tradition, you always go with red. So when it comes to like Chinese New Year, your birthday, getting married, you know how when you like the bride comes out, the bride will always come out in like a red dress. Yeah. So that's uh, that's like the significance of red and gold. Okay. So. Red is because it brings happiness, wealth, and okay, so because of the church holder, red can bring happiness, wealth, and prosperity by warding off evil spirits and bad luck. I see. Thank you, Google, for teaching me about Chinese New Year. <laughs> yes. Yep. So that's what it is. So the gold is wealth, red is fortune and happiness. Sick. And that's why we want to do it. Okay. So, dude! Hey, Fu! Come here! Fu, where are you? So another thing that we're supposed to put up is there you are, Fu. Paper cuttings off. Then it represents luck and happiness. Is this luck and happiness on here? Let me see. I got double. Uh yes. Yeah. Uh, no no wait I can't oh. tell. Some of the you gotta unravel it. It's covering okay. too much of it. Okay, I got see, monkey. Ready monkey. Okay Papa. So I got these. Is this the cutout of like happiness and because luck? Show Papa. Let me see. It is. Let me see. Show Papa. Show Papa. Chinese New Year's decorations. Oh, okay. So I know exactly what this is. This also says Fu. Okay. Upside down? No, it says Fu in there, in it's here. Fu. Yeah. But do you know what fruit this is, monkey? What fruit is that? Apple. Smart! And do you know how to say that in Chinese? Sana. <laughs> That's Spanish. <laughs> Manzana, I like how confident. It's pinguo. Pinguo. Like a penguin. Yeah, like a penguin. Yeah, exactly. Pingua. So you know how I was telling you in Chinese tradition, there's a lot of wordplay. Yeah. So pinguo, ping, also is the same word for peaceful. So ping an. That's why they use apple because that signifies peacefulness. You know, like uh, you want to have fu, which is luck and peacefulness. I love that. So in a lot of Chinese, uh, in a lot of Chinese. <laughs> Traditions and culture. There's yeah, a lot of wordplay. Okay, so yeah, I, got I got it from <laughs> Amazon, so we have to construct this. So we'll get to it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job, dude. Okay, so I got another decoration. Show Papa. Do you know what this is? You know what this? A pumpkin. A lantern. <laughs> lantern pumpkin. No, just a lantern. It's not a pumpkin. Oh. Ask Papa what that's for. Um, this is for the whole stuff. It's the whole thing? No, no, no. The, the lantern, what does it mean? What is it? Ask Papa, what is it for? You can hold it like slow, like slow stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Like, because I have a little ring. Uh -huh. Oh, come here, here. Come so here. that's a lantern. And I actually don't know what the lantern's for. So for those of you guys that do know, comment below why Chinese New Year has I lanterns. I do know it's up everywhere though, but I don't know what it's for. Uh, I think it's to ward off evil, but let me look it up. Okay. One. Okay. Thank you. So I looked it up and Chinese lanterns are hung to symbolize happiness and are believed to drive out any bad luck. Oh, cool. So it's kind of right. Going back to the whole sweeping thing, you know how important sweeping is? Because it's the, the whole action of it. It's so important that obviously we have modern technology, so we'll clean the house and like vacuum and stuff. But the final part of it, um, we would like open the door and actually sweep it out still. Still the action of sweeping out bad stuff. Oh. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, good to know. <laughs> Alright, so Taika invented a way to carry all the lanterns over here. That's so smart, duty. Yeah, we'll just look at <laughs> Why are you beating yourself? No, I know someone's beating me. Someone's beating you? Is grandma's spirit here? Cause that looks like my childhood. <laughs> Mom Bear? Yeah, baby. You don't know how happy I am to see a Mexican doing this. How did you know? Cause we all know you don't have a heart. You big cuny. Now this is freaking cuny. Cause like. I like how the Mexicans doing all the. <laughs> exactly. And it's cuny because, um, you know, like, obviously I grew up in 
this Chinese culture, but because I was traumatized by all the crazy stuff that my mom had me do, I was never compelled to pass it on to Taika. And I, although I do want to, um, I also just figured like he's still small, so I was waiting. I was gonna wait until he's like five or six, or when my parents fully move here, then I can fully immerse himself. But it's so cuny that Ma Bear really wanted to pass traditions on to Taika early. So that just you know shows how cool how cool of a wife and mom you are. And I think it's freaking cuny. It's fun. I mean, it's, uh, I'm saddened that we didn't do it before. You know, like I understand why, but yeah. now I'm just happy that I can do it now. Yeah. Um, and it's a lot of fun, and I have a really solid why as to why I want to do it, which yeah. is you know pass these cool things on to our son, who fortunately has both cultures to celebrate. Yeah. Um, I mean, anyone can celebrate whatever they want, right? But it's just so cool that. He has both of this in him. Yeah, that's so kinny. That was Taiga. Hey monkey, did you see all the new decorations mama put up? That's beautiful, huh? Okay, so Papa, you said something to me yep. as I was putting them up. I was putting those up and I know four in uh, Japanese, Korean, Chinese. Let me know if I missed another one. Maybe even Vietnamese, but a lot of Asian cultures. Uh, four is considered bad luck. That's why if you go to Asia and you're in an elevator, there's no fourth floor. Like there's just, they don't want to write the number four because it, because it's the word on play, it also means death. Uh, no, it doesn't mean death. It's it just like. it's just wordplay is so big. Yeah. So four is s and death is sh. Oh. So it sounds too, too close. close. Yeah. Too close. Okay. So I was putting it up and I put it in four. The lanterns are four, and I'm like, oh no! I'm like, but wait, I'm not I'm not finished. So I did it symmetrically. If you could see, it's not very uh, straight. I did good. my best. Looks good to me. Um, I went to eight, and as you can see, that little window only fit one, which is nine. Yeah. So eight is a lucky number, and so is nine. I thought only even numbers were lucky. So eight is the luckiest. Um, so it's ba, but in Cantonese it's fa, fa, which means like blow up, ball out, like make hella money. So eight is really, we're really good. We're thinking at eight, hundred yeah. percent. Nine, <laughs> nine is jiu, which means also a long time. So you can see wordplay is a big deal in Chinese. Yeah. So it could be like so like a lot of numbers. If it's like eight, 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 nine, 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 that means ball out for a long time. Okay, so I left it at eight. That's Chinese pager code right there. Cause got it. Cause I was about to do, I was about to do ten, cause two fit in that other window. But why not leave it at eight? Yeah. So we're leaving it at eight. Yeah. Um, and then I had extra lanterns, so I was like, well, what if I put it back there? Blah blah blah. And Bart's like, no, actually, with lanterns, you want to put it at the beginning or at the end of an entrance. Yep. So then this is considered the beginning of an entrance, and this is considered Another one. the yeah, beginning skinny. of an entrance, yep. and also, is this considered the beginning of an entrance? I guess so. I mean. There's always like the, the, the stick to the book of traditions, and then there's also like the way you wing it, you know? So, yeah. who knows? Okay, so I got those up. I'm like about pretty much done with the decorations. Okay. Um, there's a few little ones that I want to add, and I'll add those later because it just takes way too long. Another thing I want to do is a very important one, and one that when I was introduced to this, I was like, oh, what? I'm about it. And that is the ever popular red envelope. Cuny. So what is it with this red envelope, Papa? I don't know the... Oh, uh, la <laughs> I don't know why they do it, but it's something that you always give. And it goes from elders to juniors until the junior becomes married. Then now they're considered a full-time adult. And now it's their turn to pass on the tradition. So for example... I got what it means. Okay, well, I don't know. Um, so the red color, oh, it's the red color, okay. Symbolizes uh, good luck, obviously. Yeah. Um, oh man, this is a long history of it. Okay, so there's actual denominations in which you want to give it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. 
So the minimum that you want to do when it comes to you giving to parents, yeah. so usually you start handing out envelopes once you're married. Yes. Um, so once you start giving them to them, you give your parents in denominations of 100 to $300. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, and you want to use crisp, brand new, never circulated money. Oh yeah, it's always brand new ones. Yes. And then for children, it's $20. Oh, okay. Minimum. You know, and then for employees or staff or whatever, it could range anywhere from twenty to two hundred dollars. Okay. And then for close friends and close or relatives' children, ten bucks is cool. Okay. And then for acquaintances or acquaintances' children, I guess more acquaintances, it's ten bucks. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and then there's a way to to hand it and receive it, right? Two hands to them, two hands back. Yeah. Wait. Hey, <laughs> someone's frozen. Taika! Yeah? I got something for you. Is that for me? Yeah, what is it? A cat. Oh no, what's inside? <laughs> it's a cat. I'm gonna open it. No, so, oh, no, so this, you know why we do this? What? This is for Lunar New Year. So this Can means... Can you it over? Yeah, so this means prosperity, good luck. And good luck, okay? So what am, what am I supposed to say? You say, Shin Yan Kwai La. No, I say, Shin Yan Kwai La. Me too. I and you say it to you. Say so it. now you grab it with two hands like this. The two way hands. I'm giving it to you. Two hands. Two hands because that's respect. And then what does he take us say, Papa? You say, Shin Yan Kwai La. Shin Yan Kwai La. Good yep. job. Yeah, so now, wait. So then you say, Thank you, say, you. Yep, and that's it. You can't open it And you say, later. thank you. You, you don't go, open it. Go like this. Say, Shishye. Shishye. Yeah, and that's it. You put it away. Because, yes, don't forget about it, because it's seen as bad taste um, if you open it. Right in front of them, right yeah. Right in front of them. Yeah, yeah, so you're yeah. supposed to grab it with two hands, or hand it with two hands, grab it with two hands, shishi, bow, and then... Get out of there. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Did I do that right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Papa. Yep. Um, so now it comes to... So I read that, like, every day from... The thirty, the thirty, the first, all the way to the fifteenth. Every day it has like a different thing that you're supposed to be on doing. the lunar calendar. Yes. First. Yes. 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 On the lunar calendar. Yeah. Um, and every day is something different. But to ring in that new year. Yeah. You're supposed to spend it with relatives. You reunite with them, and then um, dinner starts from five until obviously the next day, twelve a.m. Yes. Uh, and some of the staples that you have to have are as follows. As you can see here, you want to have dumplings. Mm -hmm. You want to have a fish. I can only find fried fish. Yeah, you kind of want a steamed fish. Yes. Yeah. I couldn't get my hands on it. And also the dumplings. That technically isn't a dumpling. What? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? What is it? <laughs> because I wanted to wait. Uh, so this is a, a this is a xiao long bao. So that's not a. It's yeah. technically a bao, even yeah. though it's. So it's like a dumpling is is jiaozi. Why did you wait? You're so rude. I'm yeah. not rude. I think it's skinny. You said ha ha ha. I wanted to wait. <laughs> Watch. I'm gonna plan the next Cinco de Mayo yeah, or something, and I'm probably gonna get it wrong. I'll bring. Well, Cinco de Mayo is really celebrated by American people. Like no one in Mexico really gives a fuck about Cinco de Mayo. I'll, okay, I'll in like a small region. I'll celebrate the Dia de los Muertos, and I'll probably do it wrong. And if, Wait, what? what? Anyway, fine. So I messed up yet again. Okay, so you're supposed to have dumplings. You are a troll. Um, <laughs> a fish, you want it steamed. I know that. Yeah. And if you're going to have a whole fish, you want the head and the tail. And then. That fish. I don't know why, though. Why is that? Um, hey, I have to go to butt shirt. Wait, what in the. So it's uh, it signifies it's abundance because fish is pronounced you. Yeah. Yeah, and it signifies abundance and it's a sign of prosperity. The Chinese believe that. Ta uh, that tossing yu shing, yu shing, prosperity salad. I love okay, cool. Will bring pros prosperity, wealth, and luck for the year. Nice, okay. Okay, and then noodles. Yeah. Um, I know these are also not the right noodles. You just told me that they, they should be in a, some type of soup. Usually they're in a soup, but I think all the noodles are fine. So you did um, do it right. And you want to eat noodles because it signifies long life. Yes. So the one thing you don't want to do. Because noodles are long. Yes, you don't want to break up these noodles. Yes. You want the noodles to be as long as possible. Yes. Um, other things that go along with it is like rice cake, rice wine, um, and yeah, it looks like I totally botched this up. No, I actually think you did a really good job because all of this whole Chinese New Year stuff, you've done more for this naked hairless monkey 
more than I have ever done. So you already did a really good job. That rice wine thing that you eat at the end of the meal, it's more like a dessert. Um, it's like a little sweet fermented rice. And then there's these things called tang yuan. I love those. It's, just the, it's like these little white, kind of like a dumpling thing with the black sesame on I the inside. It. And the reason why those are important is also wordplay. Tang yuan and the word yuan also means like very fulfilled and a very satisfactory life. Like oh. yuan man. Like it's perfect, like picture perfect. So tang yuan, yuan man. That's that's oh. what, yeah. Okay. Um, another thing you want to do is you want to watch like Lion Dance. Yeah. That's really cool. Chinese also, crib blocking. Yep. So sick. I love that. That's why I have the dragon up there. Um, oh, I love there. And uh, you also want to, hey dude, you I'm also want to set off fireworks because it scares away evil. Yes. So I want to do that. Um, Help me. Yeah, no, you're going to spill Papa's water, duty. Um, so. Another thing you want to do is, Papa was emphasizing, uh, you have to sweep the floor. Why? Is it to sweep away all the bad luck? And Wait, are you asking me? You were telling me, you're like, well, you have to sweep Well, I'm so floor. focused on doing it, so I do do it, but the why part, you know, okay. that's the part I don't know, but I'm thinking it's to sweep away like all the bad luck from last year, because oh, there's a you're, huge- You're doing it, you're not supposed to sweep the floor. What? Oh, hair must not be washed. I knew that, or I didn't know that. I just, I read that. Why, okay, wait. Uh, why, let's see that. I don't know, because we always clean the hell out of the house. Oh, you, you're not supposed to sweep the floor. Really? You're not supposed to sweep it, because it says the idea that you sweep out luck, if you sweep on New Year's Day, maybe you're supposed to do it before New Year's? Yeah, yeah, before New Year's. Oh, okay, okay. The first guest in your home to the New Year's Day fills an important role in the coming year. Oh. So that I don't know, but... Uh, it is said that the person, sometimes called the first footer, foretells the kind of luck you can expect during the next 12 months. Yeah, that... Don't let anybody come in. <laughs> yeah, that stuff I don't know, but uh, we had a huge emphasis on cleaning the house before, like the, the week before, and you want to spick and span, and you want to get yeah. all the bad luck, all the bad juju out, and there's a huge emphasis on starting the new year, like new and crushing it. Yeah, so you're not supposed to shower, yeah. um, because then you're going to wash away your luck, and you want to wear new clothes, mm -hmm. like you said, mm -hmm. um, and yes, we're going to clean everything. Washing clothes. We're gonna ring in the new year in new clothes, and um, that's all I got. Did I miss anything? No. Okay, so this was kind of like a B minus. I thought it was pretty good. Well, I messed up the whole dinner part. I mean, that's hard to get right. Okay, okay, but at least I have a hang of it, so I know next year for sure is gonna be super cool. Yeah, because it'd be like me, like ordering like a traditional Mexican dinner, and I just go out and get a bunch of tacos and burritos and stuff, you know. Whereas, I don't know, it might be like, uh, what is it, like something verde or like carnitas or it might, you know, or, you know, it, I just don't know. I'm just yeah. ordering what I okay. base, base what Fine. I know. Fair. Thank you. Well, this was fun. Mike Monkey, did you like Chinese New Year? Did you like everything we did? The decorations, the food, the red envelope? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you learned something. And how do you say it again? Xin Nian Kuai Le. Xin Nian Kuai Le. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone.